Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you some clips on how I tamed my rats within two weeks. So the first step is to leave them to hide for up to eight hours. So when you take them home, your rats are going to be quite nervous about their new surroundings and they're going to need time to adjust. So I'd suggest getting them later on in the day at like four or five o'clock and then just kind of like leaving them overnight to just settle in. So I gave my rats a kind of like safe spot where it had their food and their water and everything all together so that they didn't have to venture too far to get some of these things. Make sure to give them lots of places to hide like houses, blankets, some tunnels and also hammocks and little things like that just to make them feel a little more safe in the cage. So step two is to offer them your hand. So now that they've been able to settle into their new surroundings for eight hours or overnight, you could now try and popping your hand in the cage and seeing how they react to it. Some might come up like this rat and try and sniff it and interact, and others, like the other two girls behind her, might just ignore it, and that's fine. The more you keep doing it, the more they'll learn to trust your hand. They may nibble and lick at your hand. It's not a bite. They're not trying to bite you. They're just trying to investigate your hand and just... Don't panic if you think that it's trying to bite you. It's not. It's just a nibble and they'll get over this. It's just an initial thing. So step three is to introduce some baby food. So this just teaches the rat that coming up to your hand and interacting with it is a good thing and they get rewarded when doing it. So keep the baby food nice and close to your hand so that the rat kind of learns to come up close enough to your hand and it's not a bad thing. Um, the fact that it's baby food means that they have to lick it, which means they have to stay by your hand the whole time that they're eating this treat. They can't just take it and go, which is why things like Cheerios, when you hand it to them, is not great because they will wander off with them and hide them and you won't get to interact as much. So step four is getting them in onto your hand. So the same thing with using the baby food. If you pop it on a spoon um, and leave it in their cage, they will just naturally kind of investigate what it is. The reason it's on a spoon is because it teaches the rat to lick at a treat instead of immediately biting on it. And it just means that if your hand smells like food any day, that the rat's initial reaction isn't going to be to try and bite it, it will be to lick it, and then they will discover it's your hand and you've saved yourself from an accidental bite. So the idea is once they're interested in the spoon, uh, you can kind of bring it closer to the edge of the cage, closer to your hand, and you kind of just guide the rat out using the baby food. Um, like I was saying with these wet treats, they do have to stay by it to eat it, they can't just take it and walk off, which is why it's a really good idea to use this when you're trying to hand tame them. Um, just keep doing this over and over again, they will learn to eventually hop up on your hand naturally as a way of trying to get the food. And once one rat does it, they normally all kind of realise that this is a safe enough thing to do and it's easy enough to get all of your rats to continue to do this and you can build up on this each day. Once they're comfortable with hopping up in your hand and it's totally normal to them, you can actually move on to another step which I enjoy is just leaving the spoon down and you can pet them while they're eating. It just gets them used to the fact that your hand being behind them where they can't see it is actually safe and it's okay for them to trust your hand to be around. Getting the rats used to your hand being on them and petting them on their back and things is really useful for when you need to start picking them up, if you need to move them in or out of a cage or anything like that. Another thing to point out is the fact that rats can't have some foods. This includes leek, so just double check any baby food that you're using that every ingredient in there is safe for the rats to eat. I will be making a video um, soon just explaining which foods are safe and which foods are not safe for rats to eat. So if you don't actually know which ones they are, stay tuned for them videos and I'll explain it all. So the next step is step five and that is just cleaning the cage. So you need to make sure when you clean the cage that you don't actually remove all of their scent. If you've got a new rat and you have cleaned the cage, you might notice that they'll just run around like crazy, they'll look really, really spooked, and they just can't calm down. It's just because all of their scent was removed, and now they don't recognise the area, they don't trust the area, and they don't really know what to do, and they really panic. So the the best thing that I do is just... When I'm cleaning out their cage, uh, I save some of their droppings and I make sure to just put that back into their litter box. If you are litter training, it's really handy to just remember to do that. I'll be doing another video on litter training later on as well, so if you're not sure or something you want to look into, stay tuned for that. 
and then I also get fresh um, bedding so like the fresh cotton pink cotton ball that I pop in and then I put in an an old fleece that they've already got their scent on and it just really helps with that settling in so step six is the household noises so all along we've been keeping really quiet but now it's time to get the rats used to your own noise so you need to leave the radio on whenever you're not at home and don't for, don't be afraid to just talk around the cage and things like that you're not going to spook them they'll need to get used to it leave the tv on nice and loud and the doors open so that they can hear it from their cage if your phone rings while you're playing with them you can just answer it and talk to it right by the cage it's fine especially things like household cleaning noises they need to get used to this now because you don't want every single time that you cough or sneeze while you're around the cage you don't want them to just freak out and get really scared because you'll undo all of the progress you made so step seven is to interact with your rats every day. You need to do this in a way that builds up their confidence. So I like to just make sure that there's a route from the cage out to me so that it's their choice whether they want to come and spend time with me or not. And they can always hop back in the cage anytime they want and it just makes them feel a lot more safe. The next thing to do is just leave your hands there so that they can come up to your hand and walk away without you grabbing them and it just gets them used to the safety of your hand. If they're not doing that you can always encourage them with a bit of food. They are suckers for a bit of baby food and they will definitely come back to your hand if you've got some of that. I like to provide them with hoodies and pillows and things for them to hide in under because that will help them to feel more safe and feel more confident. Rats do not like to be out in the open when they don't trust the area that they're in. Um, I actually made a little ladder between the cage and the couch so they don't actually even have to climb across me if they don't want to. I made that ladder myself and I actually uploaded a video on how to make it on my channel so if you want to know go have a look at that. Um, they are able, they will kind of wander back to the cage and just double check that the root is still there. So if they seem to like keep going back to the cage and you don't know why they're not just enjoying the play, it's just because they like to double check that the root home hasn't closed off and it just helps them to relax into the play. So step eight is their after play treat. So this means that they don't only get baby food and treats while they're out during playtime you should always give them a nice little treat once they've come back into the cage because one thing you don't want to do is to have to grab them and put them back in the cage yourself because that will panic them if they don't like your hands and they're not used to you as much yet so the fact that you've got a little bridge and when and they can go back whenever they like do reward them when they go back and that just helps you to not need to pick them up so step nine is to rearrange their cage. Now at the beginning you saw that their cage was all one big ledge with their food and their water and everything in one small space but now that they are more used to everything I've put all their hammocks and their bridges um, and their houses all scattered around. I made the hammock and the bridge myself and you can see that in some of my other videos if you want to make some too. Then there's another ledge where they just have like a bowl that they can kind of learn to get the treats out from. Then they got their food and water ledge their running wheel, their tunnels and everything and they really do use their whole cage now. For the first four days they did not leave that ledge that I made for them, they were so scared and that keeping it that way for a while really did help them. So the next step is bigger better playtime. So by now they should trust that playtime is safe so you can give them much more open space to play in. I give them the whole hallway and, and a load of toys to play with that I've built which is their swings, their football goals, they even have a basketball goal, a big mansion, rope ladders, bridges, everything to play with in an open area and now they're no longer afraid to be out and about so they don't need so many hides and things like that that they did in the beginning. Almost all of my rat's toys are handmade and I've done tutorials on how to make all of them in my other videos if you do want to know how to make any of them. So finally, I just want to say go and enjoy your rats. I just love seeing how far my rats have come. I walk up to the cage and they will just run to the door and they, they're no longer scared of me at all. They're always cheeky, trying to escape, but they're not even afraid now when I try and pick them up, put them back in the cage. They're so confident running up my arm and have no hesitations with me. I like to give them a little treat if I didn't take them out just because I'm so happy that they are interacting with me now. So here you can see just two weeks before where they wouldn't even look at my hand, they were so nervous. And now they're running up and down, they always climb up on my shoulders, I've got a little pouch that they love to snuggle up into and it's just been so nice now to be able to cuddle and play with my rats after all of these 10 steps. 
I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and getting to see the clips of my rats going from really skittish rats into really tame rats. Give it a like if you did enjoy this video because it took me like two weeks to make. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. If you've watched this one then you're probably going to like the others too. Also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.